So the teeth, they're comprised of three layers. We have the pulp in the middle, the dentin layer, and the outer enamel layer. Enamel is said to be the strongest mineral in the body and it consists of water and various minerals, the primary mineral being hydroxyapatite. And hydroxyapatite is a crystalline calcium phosphate. So dental pain via the root of caries results in decay moving from the outer enamel layer to or close to the dental pulp. You might understand already how dental caries occurs. The simple explanation is that you have bacteria in the mouth present in plaque and calculus and the bacteria metabolize sugar for energy and release acid as a byproduct which decreases the pH of the plaque biofilm making it more acidic and this increased acidity contributes towards dental caries. So that's a very simple way to understand how caries work but in reality it can get a little bit more complicated because acidity is a measure of hydrogen ions and the more hydrogen ions released the more acidic in nature the acid is. When we have this acid layer on the tooth surface, phosphate ions in the saliva combine with these hydrogen ions from the acid. To balance the loss of these phosphate ions in the saliva, they're pulled out of the teeth and into the saliva. So because of this acidity, the tooth has lost phosphate ions in a process called demineralization. Once the pH returns back to normal, phosphate can move back into the teeth in a process called remineralization. Although the teeth are in this constant state of demineralization and remineralization, when demineralization occurs more, the overall effect is a loss of tooth structure and the formation of dental caries. I hope this explains how dental caries occurs. Since enamel cannot be remade or recreated again, it's important to remember that cavities need to be filled appropriately and decay needs to be removed. Tooth enamel can only be remineralized when it hasn't turned into a cavity and once cavitation occurs, a filling is usually required.